it up, but it is classic instrumental track that was Sabre Dance. Now, there's a few different versions of this. When I was looking for it, I found versions by Love Sculpture, different versions by Dave Edmonds. So they're all slightly different. The one I based it on was the Dave Edmonds single version that I found on iTunes. Okay, but basically once you get the main melody, it kind of just tends to vary in the middle section. So it's the main melody that's a really important bit of this tune, the bit that's based on, of course, the classical sabre dance. All right. Also, that version is tuned down a semitone to E-flat, but I kept it in standard tuning just to make it easier to practice. So every time you want to practice this, you don't have to retune your guitar. All right, so we're in standard tuning. Okay, chords, really simple. We've just got G and B-flat for most of the song. So I'm just starting with... Um, hitting that chord and the bottom note. So I'm just playing G5, okay, so no third, I'm just playing three on the E string, open D, open G, D on three, G on three. Okay, and then you'll notice it goes up, it kind of modulates to a B flat every so often on the main melody, back to a G. And that whole middle section is practically all over a G, Okay, and then kind of there's a quick little B flat at the end if you watch the playthrough, and kind of back into the main melody at the end. So it's all G, G5 and B flat there, and then you've got a little, we've got a little D at the end. And you've got a little section where you go from G5 to D repeatedly, and it all ends on a G. So that's the chords. Really simple, really simple. But of course, the tricky bit is the main uh, instrumental melody. Okay, so it's classic, uh, fun one to play. So we start with an open G. So we've got... So I'm just playing open G and... Okay, so you've got a bit of a clash there. Okay. Um, because you've got that G and F sharp a semitone apart by by major seventh. So, so I'm playing the open G string and then seven and seven on B and E. And I'm playing this with all down strokes. You could play but to me it sounds better with just the consistency of all down strokes, but that's up to you. That's you know how you want to pick it. That's uh, your decision there, but that's how I like to do it. Okay, so I'm going. Then we've got this section where I'm playing E and A on five and five, and F and B flat on six and six, back to F sharp and B on seven and seven. So I'm just doing that as a hammer and then re-picking. So you've got... Okay, and then I'm going chromatically down from the F sharp and B to D and G. So I'm basically pulling off and then picking. So I'm going like that. So seven and seven to six and six. Then pull off to five and five and repick. Then slide that down and repick. And then slide down and repick on three and three. Okay, and there you go. So here I'm playing. 6 and 6, F and B flat, pulling off to E and A, and then D and G. So 6, 6, 5, 5, 3, 3. And then a little slide, jumping over to 8 and 8, F and B flat, on the A and D strings, and sliding that down to 5 and 5. So go. 
And then I'm just repeating, okay? So. So I'm missing out that first G this time because I'm just coming from jumping over to that. Same. And then the second time, just kind of um, not so, not playing that, just kind of hitting bat on five and kind of sliding to nowhere. Okay. Okay, and then we've got, I'm sliding up to 10 and 10. So we're modulating now, this is where we go to B flat. And I'm just playing exactly the same thing, but three frets higher. So I'm doing that hammer now from eight to 10 of the B and E strings. And then the same way I went, did before, going down from 10 to six. Okay, A and D down chromatically to F and B flat. And this time I'm playing, okay, just like here, but this section I'm playing on different strings. I'm playing, okay, so I've got A flat and D flat there, G and C, F and B flat, eight, uh, so nine, eight, six on the top two strings, and then just jumping my first finger over Play six and six on the D and G strings, sliding down to three and three. Okay, and then repeating. All the same, but here. Okay, on this one, so I play that same. But here, I jump back to what I played earlier on the G section. So this is taking us back to a G. I'm playing F and B flat to D and G. Eight, eight, five, five. Then play that again. This, so I'm playing what I played earlier, six, five, three. So I'm going, um, that one again, and then, just hitting that G5 chord, let it sustain a little bit. Okay, and that's basically kind of section one, the main melody. And then we're into... So I'm playing here, F, E, D, E, D. It's so kind of a G Dorian mode I'm playing here. Six, six, five, three, five, three, five on G, back to three on B. Then D, E, D, three, five, three, six. Then the F, this time going down. So five, three, five, three, C, B. Okay, so five three five three on G string five four one, and then I've got so playing that twice, just coming down six five three on B, C on five, back to D on three on the B and G strings there, and then. So there, I'm just playing eight times, pulling off six, five, three, F, E, D. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And sliding to G on eight. And then sliding up to 20 on the same string to play a G an octave higher. Okay. And then we've got this kind of Eastern sounding bit because we've got this kind of flat and ninth note. So, uh, so I'm playing, so I'm playing B, A, G, G, G. 
So I'm playing four, six, five, five, five. Okay, on the G and D string. Then, um, then again, same, but now just playing two notes on that A flat. So four, six, six, five, five. Then four times. So we got one, two, three, four. So just those three notes. Okay. So four, six, five, four, six, five, four, six, five, four, six, five. Then we're playing four, four, five. So four, four, five, six, seven, seven. B, B, C, D, D. So four, four, five, seven, seven. Then again, going up an octave to a D on 15 on the B string. Okay. And then there's a look, and then that's where the chord goes to, back to a B flat here, and you return to the second part of the main melody. That's all the same. There you go. So here I'm starting the same. I'm just jumping down to a single D note on seven on the G string. And then they're just playing those original two notes, A and D on 10 and 10, and then two Ds below. So that's, that's the same note. About. So I'm playing this slightly different. You hear it on the track. It, it's, I'm, I'm picking it rather than doing that. Da, 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 I'm doing. Okay, very similar. They yeah, both work, but so just so. Um, and then it's like we did before, change to that D. Um, and then we've got, uh, so, so we've got, uh, so we just play that like we played before. And then we've got, after this, six, five, three, got, chromatic run down so I'm starting on the so so just finished that section that we've already looked at six five three so and then we've got okay so I'm playing three sliding to eight D to G and going chromatically down to E eight seven six five and then D sharp to C. Okay. Same frets, eight, seven, six, five on the G string. So I've got. Then we got. Then we're jumping down to a C sharp on six on the G string and going chromatically again down to a B flat there. So I should say D, D flat to B flat. So six to three. So we've got eight to five, eight to five, six to three, and seven to four. A to G flat. Okay. Six, five, uh, sorry, seven, six, five, four. So you've got six, five, four, three, seven, six, five, four. So. Then we're going up. So we've got 
Okay, so we've got basically C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, 4, 6, 4, 6, A sharp, C sharp, 3 to 6, so the A string, D string, G string, 3 to 6, and then 4 to 7, D sharp to F sharp. And then hit that G5 chord again. Okay, and then we're into the section of the song, which is where it tends to differ most on the different different recordings that there are. It's more of a kind of freestyle section of this, and it's all played over um, until we come out of it, a G chord. Okay, so you've got lots of room. If I was playing this live, I wouldn't stick to what the, uh, the track is exactly. I'd just use this as inspiration to fill this section out with some uh, similar kind of licks and a similar kind of feel. So, uh, but it's good to learn them to get an idea of things you can play. It's, um, so it kind of based around G. And what's interesting is it's not G major or minor. It kind of switches between the two and uses a lot of chromaticism as well. So you always kind of land back on that G as your kind of tonal center, but it goes in all kinds of interesting places. All right, so, um, so we've got, so I'm playing, so I'm playing G, and then F sharp G. So that's three of the E string, four and five on the D string, twice. Then back to that G. Then I'm going, classic little trick is to take a G chord, but approach each note a semitone below. So we're going four, five, three, four, two, three, two, three. So F sharp G, A sharp B, C sharp D, F sharp G. So, so. Back to that G note. Then I'm hitting that G note again. And then just hitting a little double stop on three and three, B flat and it's kind of blue scaly this bit. Okay, so three and three on G and D and B strings, sorry. Then hitting the G on five. And then hitting C and E on five and five of the G and B strings. So we've got five on D. Um, yeah, so I'm hitting that G again and the top two notes there. So five on D, three and three. Okay. And then we've got, okay, so this is interesting, it's called, again, we're doing that kind of chromatic approach to chord tones. So this become sort of a flat and six to the fifth note, which is a semitone, E flat to D. And then a, a note below the chord tone, F sharp again. G, so I'm playing 4, 3, and then 4, 5 on the B and D strings. And then you've got... So here I'm just repeating those notes. Sort of four times. So 4 and 3, 4, 5. And then coming out of it, so I'm playing that, that the last time, four and five. Then uh, I'm playing three, a D, an F on six, and a bend to G. And then very blue scale lick.
So, um, so, so it's very bluesy. So, so releasing that down back to F. Then that D and F again. So three, six, three. Then bend, bend that C of five and then play a D. Then release that, down to three, five, and three. You know, but really, you know, if you don't play it exactly, you've just played some sort of blue scale lick there, that would still fit, you know. So don't get too hung up, I always say. I'm trying to play everything exactly, okay? It's more about having fun and doing your own version if you do it live. But basically... Then... Then you've got... Basically four times. Classic blue scale lick. Just bending on five, releasing, pulling off to three, five on uh, the D string, so C, B flat, G, and hitting that B flat again on three. Then we're pleating that G note the last time on five on the D string, then we've got F, E, D, C, B, B, uh, C, D, D, sorry. Six, five, three, five, three, three. On B and uh, G, back to B. And the same again. Just more of a little, little bend. Really quick, so it doesn't make much difference, but kind of pushes that second note up the second time. Um, so this time you've got C to D, but then you come down the scale, the blues scale. So you've got C to D again, six, five, three, five, three. Okay, and then I've got sliding up. So, playing three of these. So here I'm in the E um, minor pentatonic, which is the relative minor of G major. So we're still in G, okay? So we're switching again between these major and minor tones. So, So I'm sliding to a G, and then A to G, 14 to 12. Bend on 15, release. So bend D on the B string, release. Then G, E, G, A, G. So we've got 12, 14, 12. 14, 12 on G and uh, D and G. And then we're going up to the uh, G uh, blue scale. So we're moving it up in minor third. So I'm bending an F to a G. Okay, on 18 to 20. Releasing to 20. And D, E, D, F, D. And then C to B flat on 17 to 15. So you bend on 18, release, 15, 18, 15, 15, 30, uh, sorry, 17 and 15 of the G string. 18, 15, 18. 15, 17, and 15, and then 
same notes again, okay? And then you've got... Uh, and then play, moving back down to the E minor pentatonic. So I'll bend it. Do the little bend there. Do, 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 do. Okay. So bend on 14, release on the G string. G on 12. E on 14 on D string. Back to G. And then an A. On 14. And then... And we've got the... So here I'm bending up an A to a B. So I'm bending on 14 to 16 and playing 17 on the B string. And then release it down. So, so releasing it down to E, then coming down so I'm um, so release on 40, pull off to 12, and then 14 on the D string and E, and go back to G and just come down G F E D, 12, 15, 14, 12. Okay. okay. And then we've got so, we've got, and then we've got uh, so there I'm now going down the neck this time to again that G blue scale. So we've got so we do a little slide to a C. Then A D, then pulling off. So five three and six five three of the G and B strings. So and C B C and B flat. So I've got C D D flat C B flat and C B flat C B flat. So five three six five three five three five three. And then then this bit's really quite fast, so it's um but so that kind of speed. So I'm playing some C D flat D and then pull it going back. To D flat, play it off to C, B flat. So you got five, five, six, three, five, six, three. Then next we play this four times. So I'm playing a C to C sharp hammer, then D, hammer E to F. So I'm playing five six three five six. Play a G on three of the E string. Then play an F and pull off E to D. So three on the E string, then six five three. So so I've got yeah. So you play that. Then you're getting that G. So just playing. So that G5 chord again, then. Play open B, C, C sharp, D. And starting to do some treble picking here. So I've got. Yeah. And then I've got I'm going four times. 
F sharp E D. But with the tremolo picking, so I've got. Then, so I'm playing eight, seven, five, three. Just be, just repeatedly picking up and down. Okay, on the B string, and then I'm a little trill, C sharp to D. Okay, just hammering and pulling on two and three. And slide to 5E, back to D, another trill, okay, so it's 2 and 3 again, and then we've got a little octave section, so I'm going, I'm sliding up to an F, then going down, so I'm playing 8 and 10, so this is all on the A and G strings, octaves. So I'm playing F, E, so D, so 8 and 10, 7 and 9, 5 and 7, 7 C, back to D. Okay, so 3 and 5, back to 5 and 7. And then again, that twice, and then... I'm going to an A on 12 and 14, then sliding up one fret to B flat, then down to G. So going up to 13, 15, then down to 10 and 12. So 12, 14, slide up one fret, then playing F, G, F, F, F. So 8 and 10, 10 and 12, back down to 8 and 10, hit that F a couple more times, and so I'm just coming down E, F, E, D, E, D, so 7 and 9 to 8 and 10, and 5 and 7. Seven and nine, and back down. So three and five to five and seven. So C D C. Then B C B B. So two and four, three and five. Okay, then two of those Bs on two and four. Then. But A flat and G octave. Now I'm switching to the E and D string. So four and six and three and five. I do that twice. And then I do it. Go down an extra note to F sharp. So I'm going four and six, three and five, two and four, three and five. Then that G5 chord again. Okay, and then we've got Okay, so here I'm playing a slide, just kind of randomly up the G string. Hit the open G string. Then A B flat G. So two, three, open. And I do that three times, so. Then just about five times, just kind of just just sliding up the neck and just hitting that E open G string. Okay, and then we're going up to the neck to the 15th position and just doing a trill on D and F. So that's 15 and 18 on the B string. And then I'm playing 
B flat, pull it off to G, D, G, four times. So I'm playing 18, 15 on E, 15 on B, back to 15 on E. And then and just four times faster, but not playing the last note. So it's B flat, G, D, B flat, G, D. Then adding an extra note, so I'm playing. So now I'm adding a C, okay, on 20. So I'm doing 18, 15, 15, 20, 15, 15, 18, 15, 15, 20, 15, 15, and back to 18, 15. So what we've got in that section is I'm just playing an extra little so G to D again 15 15 and then just coming just little lick down the blues scale that kind of so I'm playing 15 18 15 G F D then 18, 17, 15, C sharp, C, B flat, and C, B flat, G. So, so that kind of that kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Uh, then Just hitting C and E and B flat and D. So 17, 17, 15, 15. And then we've got this little section. So here I'm playing. So go. So I'm playing G and I'm playing 15, 15. G again, 17, 17, C and E, back to that G, then little hammer there, 15, 15, hammer there to B natural on 14, then playing basically that same again but this time hitting as the second notes, D, E, B and E strings. So, and then the same again. And then here you go. So here I've got, so here it's, I'm actually shifting position. I'm playing 15 and then I've got, so sorry, 17, 19 and 18. Okay, so I've got G, D, and F. And jumping back to play, it's just the same. So I've got. Then basically just ending with the second one. That D, C and E on 17. Okay, then we got this lick. Again, no one's going to really notice if you play something that's kind of close, you know, but basically, I'm playing, I'm D, then pulling off, so I'm playing 15 on the D, B string, then pulling off 18, 17, 15, B flat, A, G, 
and hitting that D again. Then I've got G, F, D, F. Okay, so 15, 18, 15, 18. Then I'm coming down the blue scale. So 15, 18, 17, 15. D, C sharp, C, B flat. Then back to 17, C, pulling off again to B flat. The G, now on the D string. And here we go. So we've got 17 on the D string. So, so. So, so I'm playing 17, 17, 17, 15. Yeah, so G, C, G, B flat. Back to that G and F on 15 on the D string. Then I'm playing the D sliding down to C. So 17 to 15. Then B flat, C, B flat, 13, 15, 13. Then G on 15 on the E string. I played a B flat on 13 on the A string. And then these notes are just going to C and then B natural. So 15, 14, then just kind of playing G, C and B there. So it's just a repeat of 15, 15, 14. Okay. And then we go uh, hitting that chord again. And then we've got um, so this is where we're kind of coming back into the main theme again. So th this is where it's not quite so much ad libbed, okay? Because we've got some specific bits. So I'll play. So I've got a D, but. but So I'm playing seven on the G string and then an A flat chord to a G. So just fourth position chord to third. And then we've got. So here we've got the G major scale. Don't worry, B for so. Okay, so three, five, two, three, five. Bottom two strings, yeah. three, five, two, three, five, da, 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 da. and it's E, C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, two, three, five on D and A, and then you do a quick G, and then straight into just those octaves F and D, and it goes quickly to a B flat chord at that point. So I'm just playing. 8 and 10 to 5 and 7 and then you're back into and then you basically you're into you're back into where we started okay you're back into the first major kind of melody and then you play when you go to the B flat you play the bit that we played the second time so it's the bit where we get Yeah, so then we change, then this bit again, that's exactly the same, then that G5 chord, and then you repeat that, just the same, I play the D, just on the 
sort of bottom two strings. Then, then all the strings, okay, and then I'm kind of raking G G to D. So I'm playing nine seven eight and seven seven seven. Okay, and then we got. So here we're just doing a G arpeggio. So all the notes of a G chord, G, D, B. So I'm starting on eight on the B string, seven on the G string, nine on the D string, then going down to five on the G string. So. Then from there, da -da 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 I'm just playing five open, five open. Then four open. Then three open. So that's on the D, G, and B strings. And then the G note on three on the E string. And then it's just. Playing a G chord, just added my thumb there, just put the bottom knot in, and you've got to the end of it. Wow! <laughs> well, there you go. So, next we'll take a look at the bass part. For most of the song, I'm playing the root and the fifth of the G and B flat chords. So, when we're on a G, I'm just playing G and D. On five and five, on the D and G strings. Okay, you could play it open. It kind of gets messy, so it's better. Then when we go to B flat, I'm just moving it up three frets. Then, so that's most of the song is that. And then you've got a little stop. Um, so you've got this little bit of the and then you just do it. Same notes, B flat and F there, and then back to you. Know, um, you got to stop. You got this little chromatic bit. So, so you got. So I'm playing C sharp, C B B flat, A A flat, G G flat. Just basically going chromatically down 11, 10, 9, 8 on the D string, 12, and then uh, 11, 10, 9 on A, and then, then we're going up 9, 11, 9, 11, and then 8, 11, 8, 11. Okay, so I'm going C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, then we've got. A sharp, C sharp, then D sharp, and F sharp. Back into that. Okay. And then that's pretty much, you kind of got a long section of that G, and then you've got a little bit sort of coming out of it where you've got, and then um, uh, coming out with, so I Um, so I've got so it's the G major scale G A B C D ba, 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 ba. do re me for so so it's three five two three five then E C D E C D E C D two three five on D and A three times And the quick root and fifth of the G chord. Uh, so G, five, 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 G, D, D. Up to B flat, back down to uh, G again. And then you're kind of back into the main part of the song that we started with. Okay. And you get 
that section again, and then then repeat that, then then that again. Back to the G, and then a D chord. Let's just play the D note there on five. Then. Again, root and fifth, and then I've got root and fifth, and then I've got root and fifth, and then I've got little G arpeggio. So I'm playing G, D, G, D, B, G, D, B, G. Kind of along with the guitar there. So I'm playing 10, 10, 10, 10 on A and E. Then 9, 10 on D and A. Then we've got D to B, 12 to 9. G on 12, then just finishing on the low G on three. All right, what a great track to play. So have some fun with that and enjoy. Cheers, buddies.